Namaste and welcome viewers. You're watching Mirror Prime. It's me, Ashish Parekh. We've been speaking about Ratan Tata the entire day, looking back at his life and also how he has had a profound impact on Indian society beyond his business. Coincidentally, it is also World Mental Health Day today and I thought this is the right occasion to also discuss a cause and a part of Ratan Tata's life that not a many of us are aware of. Throughout his life, Ratan Tata constantly opened about his thoughts on mental health and loneliness, especially in his later years. In an interview, he also detailed how loneliness sneaks in even in the lives of the most successful people when they are older. He remained unmarried all his life and once even said that you don't know what it is to be lonely until you spend time alone wishing for companionship. This candid insight, I'm sure, resonated deeply with everyone, particularly with the elderly population for whom isolation can be a silent and a painful battle. Ratan Tata didn't just speak on these issues. He also took action. In his last days, he also supported a startup called as Goodfellows, which aimed at offering companionship to senior citizens. And if you look closer, loneliness among the elderly in India is a very big issue. And it's not just something Ratan Tata experienced alone. Research shows us that 55% of India's elderly feel lonely, 34% also feel socially isolated. Things get even worse in old age homes where over 86% of India's elderly also feel lonely. In fact, on this World Mental Health Day, we'll talk more on the unseen struggles of emotional isolation and also how Ratan Tata's legacy challenges us to act with empathy and understanding. Joining us on the broadcast are Dr. Bhavna Barmi, clinical psychologist and also Abhishek Srivastava, founder of Little Seeds. But before we go to them, let's also listen in to some of the reactions. You don't know what it's like to be lonely until you, you spend time alone uh, wishing for companionship. Right, there you heard it. That was the man himself, Ratan Tata, and he very clearly spoke about loneliness, especially at later stage of his life. Joining us right now, like I said, Dr. Bhavna Barmi is a clinical psychologist and also Abhishek Shivastava was the founder of Little Seeds. I start with Dr. Bhavna Barmi. Uh, Bhavna ji, we just heard Ratan Tata there who spoke a lot about loneliness. In fact, he is a person who reached the pinnacle of professional success. He had everything he wanted and yet when he opened up during interviews, you saw a side of him that also felt isolated. I think today we have lost a stalwart, an icon, not just to the nation, but to the world. And I think the empathetic connect that he had with the society at large, and especially with the elderly, and especially how he connected the elderly and understood their mental health challenges, of which the first was loneliness, is, is nowhere near what another man's understanding in the entire world could be. He actually understood that the elderly often face isolation, especially post their retirement, especially when they have these empty nests, which can actually lead to a lot of decline in well-being and their cognitive facilities. And that is what is incredible with Sir. What is incredible is that he understands that aging comes with that increased risk of mental health. With that increased risk of mental health challenges such as depression, anxiety, cognitive de decline, along with loneliness. He understands that addressing these issues very early on and the need for holistic health models that integrated physical and mental health care was so important for the geriatrics. And not only did he understand it, he took those prime initiatives that no one, at least in the country, had even thought of. I think he supported various health-related philanthropic efforts, including those that focused primarily on the geriatrics through the Tata Trust, he had funded so much elderly healthcare infrastructure initiatives that actually promoted a lot of well-being because the faith that the elderly started having was one of the biggest optimisms that they could have in their life. A faith that, yes, somebody stands with us to do something for us. And it was not words. 
his actions, his efforts, his initiatives spoke larger than his words. I think it is a legacy that he has started, a legacy of compassion, a legacy of understanding, a legacy of making people aware that mental health has its challenges and geriatric population, the elderly population, face it more than any other age group. I think his commitment to these social causes has always been rooted in his long-standing compassion and empathy. I mean, I think a big salute to Ratan sir. Absolutely. And always. Absolutely. I'll take this point across to Abhishek Shivastava now, who's the founder of Little Seeds. Abhishek, you work a lot with these companies as well. And like Bhavnaji pointed here, Ratan Tata did not just speak about issues. He also took action. He also supported causes that made a difference. How much do you think this is something that sets an example for other companies and other philanthropists and other businessmen as well? The fact that you shouldn't really just talk about causes and earn money. You should also give back to the society. Exactly. Like, you know, uh, firstly, I just wanted to give a tribute to Ratan Tata, sir, which is known for his significant contribution to the social causes. So under his leadership, he has done various kind of commitments towards social initiatives like uh, education, healthcare, rural development, and community empowerment. So I think I give encouragement to the entire society, especially the youth like us. So I have also got the opportunity to visit the various facilities, which is uh, run by the Tata Stars in uh, Jharkhand and Odisha, wherein you know they actually uh, skilling the uh, youth, uh, the local youth in that area. Also, how they have developed these various facilities towards the care for the elderly uh, populations. So today we are celebrating the uh, World Mental Health Day, and this year's theme by the World Federation of Mental Health is the workplace mental health. I think uh, the mental health in India is a very significant public health concern. So let me share some of the statistics uh, related to that. So that in every five individuals, one suffers from some kind of mental illness. So I think it's very, very important that we have to look uh, forward towards this thing. So 50% of the mental health conditions begin by the age of 14. And 75% of mental health condition developed by the age of 24. And if we uh, talk total, I mean, towards the worldwide, about 14.3% of the deaths worldwide, approximately 8 million deaths each year is attributed to the mental disorder. So I think as a youth, which I correlate, because we are also running an NGO in which we actually took care of the elderly populations, we gave them support, uh, we give them, you know, that kind of uh, uh, that support or holding that work, various kind of workshop towards them to actually help them to come out of this kind of thing. We're also, apart from this, we're running a various kind of uh, uh, mental health related uh, seminars for them so that it actually helps them to come out of their what they're facing in their own life. I think for the youth, it is very, very important to really work towards, I mean, to really concern towards the society. I think, you know, from the uh, Ratan Sata sir, we actually learn one thing from them is that how we can really work towards at that ground level. You know, uh, in our NGO, many of the youth are working towards that. We are actually running the school for the underprivileged. Absolutely. It's, it's very important to mobilize resources and also get the community to act together. Dr. Bhavna Burmiji, I just was looking at the data here. 55% of India's elderly feel lonely. That's a scary statistic. And this only goes on to highlight that Ratan Tata did, in fact, realize how big of an issue this was. And that is probably one of the reasons why he spoke very openly about it. He also supported causes and also supported a startup that works towards offering companionship to senior citizens. I think um, a salute, a clap, a... Uh honor to have somebody who can stand up stall, who can stand up like a stalwart to address that loneliness is very, very pertinent. To address the fact that yes, there are concerns and they need to be handled. I think it is a very big learning from Ratan Tata Ji that 
we need to create awareness it is a learning that we need to implement that we need to treat the elderly especially with mental health concerns with dignity and ensure that their mental health needs are not only recognized but also addressed and i really like that compassion that companionship compassionate move that he took being in the field for over 30 years now there are a lot of relationships that break early in life and we unite together to try and find new relationships for the younger generation but i think ratan tata ji has left a legacy for us that age no bar we need relationships that are enriching and relationships that empower and when he spoke of companionship he was actually breaking a very big stigma in our society when he spoke of companionship he said that it is a bonding a rekindling where two people come into being to empower each other to bond with each other to create a life in a phase of life when everybody else is not available to them a lot of children are in the empty nest syndrome so the man or the woman who is facing the elderly concerns whether it's physical health emotional health social health mental health is on his or her own but he said no why should a social animal even if he is elderly be alone let us find a companionship let us find a reunion let us find bonds which can unite to empower and this relationship building i think is something that we must respect and we must take on as a legacy i personally in my clinic see so many of the elderly who come and 50% of the concerns that lead to mental health is isolation is loneliness is apprehensions of how are we going to live our life ahead alone and thereby initiatives like this in which there can be reuniting if there can be new relationships that can be formed is i think a very very big step and i genuinely don't see this in such a philanthropic way anywhere in the world so like i said i think it is a very beautiful thought a very empathetic legacy that ratan sir has left us with all to dwell on and not to dwell on but to take actions and destigmatize it destigmatize when elderly come to us Correct. and they say we want to have relationships we want to have companionships i think we should full on fully support these kind of endeavors it is absolutely a must for protection absolutely kudos to mr tata there to come out and speak about these kind of issues and also break the stigma as well in fact abhishek shrivastava in particular right now was talking about the initiatives that uh, the tata trust has taken in fact abhishek we've seen how mental health has been one of those things that has been focused by the tata trust in fact we are talking about multiple hospitals that have been set up as well in fact also after the 2611 attacks as well the families of the victims of the hotel staff that was also affected at the taj as well there was a care that was also taken uh, as far as their mental health and the ptsd issues are taken so do you think this is also now setting an example for companies large corporations across the nation the fact that you need to also work on the productivity of your you know business and the employees generation and everything but also at the same time the focus has to be on the mental health challenges that they are facing and companies need to take responsibility for that as well i think it's very very important if we look at the theme for the year is you know that uh, in uh, set by the world federation of mental health is a workplace mental health i think it's very very important if we have seen you know the recent issue has been done in the uh, biggest uh, big four that ey and how that employees has been you know like uh, um, mentally you know they pressurized and some you know he has uh, done that kind of thing i think it's very important that we have to really put the stress you know the mental health thing at the workplace also as i've already you know uh, shared that uh, data regarding that so companies need to really entirely focus on that how the they have done a lot of for the uh, the workplace issues to really actually help the uh, the employees to really get out of it in in case if they have some kind of mental issues including the depression anxiety and maybe at some sort of uh, substance use disorders absolutely in fact bhavna ji this also sets an example we have been talking a lot about uh, the death of a young ca at a very leading firm in india 
due to workplace pressure and uh, I think a lot of these companies should take example from Ratan Tata. He's built businesses that are as successful as any in the world and yet at the same time these companies which of course are linked to Ratan Tata also focus on mental health challenges and also keep that in mind as well. So it's, it's a good example, it's a good template that has been said that yes, on one hand you can be ruthless as far as the growth, revenue, productivity is concerned but also at the same time you don't really have to let go of the mental peace and the mental challenges that the employees are facing. Absolutely, 110%. And that is what we take as an example from Ratan Tataji, where he says employee assistance programs, providing the employees with the well-being support to actually enhance their productivity is a role model for most companies to follow. I think it's very, very important for us to be able to provide the employee with this faith and with this trust that we respect you holistically. And a lot of these employee assistance programs that Ratan Tataji started were not just for the employee. What was very important is it, it extended from the employee to their families. And when the family is taken care of, then that employee feels that my company is an additional family to me. So especially on World Mental Health Day, I would say I wish each one of us over here who work in organizations the very best of mental health for themselves and their families at work and their families at home. And I think another thing on World Mental Health Day that I would like to say is that there are two very strong pillars of mental health that Ratan Tataji brought in fort for us. One was occupational health. If we saw that he started supporting a lot of elderly startups, now what that did is that a lot of people who had this Correct. empty nest syndrome, even productively, even professionally, were no longer having to have that. If they had ideas, if they wanted to do consultancy, if they wanted to become an entrepreneur after this stint in their professional life, there was a standing, a foundation for them. So the spine would be only stronger. Because see, the elderly in our community comes with a lot of experience, comes with a lot of knowledge. And if this knowledge is capitalized in the right way, then nothing stops the individual with good well-being, good mental health. And I think the other thing that Ratan Tataji did for us was social But Bhavna Ji, how do we even overcome the stigma? Because really mental health, be, be it any generation in our society, there is a lot of stigma about it. We talk about how youngsters facing uh, such situations in their colleges or even at their jobs find it tough to open up. It's even more tougher for the elderly to come out and say that, well, we are socially isolated, we need companionship and we just don't know what to do. So it's a stigma. How do we overcome it? I think we need to overcome it by having more role models like Ratan Tataji, who are coming in the forefront to creating that awareness, to creating that respect and creating ways by which we can actually do something for mental health. So one, there should be a lot of awareness generation that we can do. This awareness can be one-on-one, -on -one, this awareness can be social media, this awareness can be group seminars, this awareness can be marathons, marches, events, festivals, all talking about well-being in a positive manner, not necessarily well-being in a negative manner. Correct. Just preventive. Second important thing is for us to understand and be empathetic to the needs of the society at large. And especially India has a very large elderly population. I think they are neglected. The families should take onus that they are our spines and we need to support our spine. So every family that the elderly has germinated Correct. needs to be now with them to support them through these ages and not undermine any of the challenges that are coming to them whether it is physical health, whether it is emotional health, whether it is mental health. I think the family, the peers, the society needs to stand with them. And that itself is a very good beginning, saying that I stand with you. And if one person stands, the chain Correct. begins because you lead that chain. So I think even today, just discussing this on this very important day, where there's a merger of icons and philanthropists Absolutely. like Rishin Tataji and the World Mental Health Day, I think is a great initiative. Many more like this will definitely bring Absolutely. everything into an integrated hand-in-glove situation.
Absolutely. Makes you really wonder if it's just coincidence because a man who, of course, had so many achievements to his name also had such emotional depth. The fact that even at that age with, uh, you know, in a position that he was, he did come out and uh, speak openly about loneliness and also how he felt lonely at the top. And I think it's also his actions that have also now set an example, a template for other companies and also other business tycoons to follow, that it's not just about the revenues that you generate and also how successful your business is. It's also about how you deeply care about the society and also how you give back. Dr. Bhavna Burmiji and Abhishek Srivastava, I appreciate you really joining us for this special discussion.